Now, Leica, it's a premium brand. There's no doubt about it. Hands down, it's the camera, the brand um, among the camera manufacturers. I have not a lot, but a couple of uh, Leica lenses and cameras. And I've owned Leica for more than 15 years now. But it's only recently, I dare say, I enjoy using the Leica. More specifically, the Leica M, monochrome. Now, personally, I don't really care too much about the history. And in all honesty, I believe all camera manufacturers, they all make great cameras and lenses. So in terms of the quality wise, I don't really think Leica has any advantage over it. And as for the image rendering, it's very dependent on the lens and also the sensor, or maybe both. And we all know Leica doesn't make sensors on their own. So maybe that might put Leica in a somewhat awkward position. So exactly what makes Leica so darn special? Well, my personal answer would be street photography. The camera itself, or more specifically the M camera, it's compact enough. Leica lenses are small, unless of course you're using 1.2 or the 0.95 knocked. Well, anyway, I have been using the CCD monochrome, well, since day one. And I have to say it's pretty darn reliable. But at the same time, it's also getting pretty old. So maybe it's time for me to update the camera. Well, looking for a new camera, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to be the Leica monochrome. And while I'm at it, I might as well update everything, including the camera bag. This is the four camera bag. It's made in France. I've got this bag about the same time as when I got the Leica monochrome. Yeah, I do like the bag a lot. It's kind of expensive. So uh, that, that's, you know, that, that might put some people off a bit, but the quality it's absolutely premium and I know camera bags uh, as a matter of fact we used to sell you know a lot of camera bags back then but you know th those uh, we don't sell them anymore because uh, that's a story for another time anyway uh, this fork bag is the one that I used absolutely the most look at it it's pretty beat up so it's time for me to get a new bag as well so while I'm in the process of changing the camera bags I might as well change the strap as well now, if you guys have been following our Instagram account, you should know I've been using the braided crow for quite some time. So if you guys are into photography, as in looking at the photos instead of looking at the cameras, camera bags, camera straps, all these accessories, then you should check out our Instagram account. That's where I put a lot of my uh, work, I suppose. Yeah, work. <laughs> anyway, what you see here, it's the whip strap. On the left is the pitch black, while on my right is the deep ocean. You see, I'm kind of bored with the black color, so I decided to go with the deep ocean. There's absolutely nothing complicated about installing the camera strap onto the camera, but I have decided to keep this part anyway. And the reason is quite simple, YouTube likes longer video. So I guess I have to go with the flow. Okay, I have to admit, it's kind of nice to have a new camera strap because it does feel uh, refreshing. Anyway, I did spend some time looking for a camera bag. And you know what, I'm not exactly a picky person, but I couldn't find the right one. But basically, I'm looking for a camera bag that is very similar or even identical to the Ford camera. But at the same time, I don't want to use the Ford camera again because it's just way too expensive. Okay, I'm looking for a bag that is light. In other words, leather camera bag is out of the question. It's just way too heavy and bulky. And at the same time, I want a bag or I need a bag that is somewhat compact. You know, just to hold a, like a monochrome and a lens. That's it. That is it, really. Okay, maybe the Ford camera bag, it's slightly small small because I once in a while anyway I will use the Leica SL um, and, and um, the bag itself it's just not quite that big enough to hold the Leica SL and one last thing I need the bag to be waterproof again if you guys have been following our Instagram account you should know that I really enjoy going out under the rain it's really the best time for street photography you know when it rains 
Yeah, it's true the camera might, you know, very likely it will get wet, but so what? It's only a tool. And this is when a uh, waterproof camera bag comes in handy. You can always put the camera inside the bag. Is it really important a camera bag is waterproof? Um, well, in my opinion, not really. For example, the fog bag, it's not waterproof. Every time I was out under the rain, the camera bag itself would be soaking wet, but yet it manages to protect the camera um, reasonably well so it's okay the only problem with that is that the bag itself will be soaking wet and it will take a bit of time to get completely dry up it's like doing the laundry you know so it's nice if the bag uses those uh, water repellent material in all honesty uh, having waterproof bag it's not my top priority the biggest concern for me is the weight the bag itself has to be light now in order to keep the weight low, the material it uses has to be filmsy. And we all know filmsy material, they don't protect the camera too well. So let me summarize my criteria again. It has to be good looking, it has to be unique somewhat. It'd be nice if it's waterproof, it has to protect the cameras inside. And lastly, the bag has to be durable because I no longer enjoy shopping and I really like a seasoned bashed up bag. Well, visualize this. You're using a brand new camera and lens and your bag is sparkling new. You're also carrying a brand new limited edition Panerai watch and your pair of sneakers are completely and utterly spotlessly clean. Heck, even your jeans are brand new. <laughs> Man, it's, it's just not me, okay? I'm not really into preppy stuff. I mean, how I see it, if you want to impress people, you impress them with your photography skill, not with your one and only luxurious pair of socks, man. God. Now, the biggest advantage for this bag is its insert. Unlike a lot of the inserts out there, this insert is nice and sturdy. Funny thing is, it's also waterproof. So you're basically getting double layers of waterproofing. Huh, that's pretty good. So once you have the insert removed, the bag becomes a bag. What am I saying? I meant it turns into a regular shoulder bag. It's compact enough to use it as a regular daily bag. Well, technically speaking, this guy here is the camera bag. Now it protects your camera from whatever impacts you may encounter during your photo walk or whatever walkabout you're doing. And yes, it does look thin. And I don't know exactly what the material is, but it's pretty darn sturdy. I try my best to trash it, but the darn thing just keeps coming back. So this guy is very different from whatever they have out in the market. You know, those foam-like uh, paddings that some of the camera bags have. I don't particularly like those thick foams because it makes the whole bag, you know, to be really chunky. And after a while, the bag, uh, it becomes deformed. It's true the thickness does provide a sense of security, but how, how I see it, it's, it's more of a psychological feel-good than you know in all practical sense honestly i don't know if this insert is any good as of this moment it feels pretty darn good but but there's always a but i mean it might fall apart after a year or so who knows so please follow our instagram if you want to know more about this bag i have started making these really short videos about 30 seconds long over at the instagram those videos and the photos there are fresh out of the oven so basically you will keep seeing the same bag the same camera maybe the same lens over at the ig so consider that to be my way of doing a camera accessories uh, review this is my bag now and i don't have to return it to my friend and for the full disclosure, I do not get paid to do this review because this is not a review. Heck, I'm not even sure whether this bag is going to be available to everyone because this is a prototype. My friend, who is a really talented guy, made this one and only bag for me as according to my requirements. So maybe after I have used and abused the bag and it hasn't fallen apart, which is very important by the way, then I hope my friend will start making this bag. And if it does become available, rest assured it will be available through our online shop. This means while we sell camera bags, hmm. See how we operate our online business is pretty simple. If I like it, I will use it. If I use it and it's pretty unique in the market, I will probably sell it. And for whatever reason I don't like it anymore, I will stop selling it. You see this camera accessory business that we are operating, it's 
is mostly fueled by our passion in photography. So in other words, it's not dollar and signs only. Yeah, it sounds kind of cheesy, like, oh, we are passionate in photography. Is it really passion in photography or passion in making a buck? <laughs> anyway, who cares? So anyway, what do you guys think about this bag? It is possible you may not know this brand. However, my friend here is the founder and the chief designer of, <laughs> um, of a brand that you may know. Let's just put it that way. So what do you guys look for in a camera bag? Or are you still into a camera bag that doesn't look like a camera bag? That kind of stuff well let me know your thoughts all right that's it for this episode i will talk to you guys very very soon bye